Hello and welcome everyone. I'm your host John RMS, otherwise known as Ace Bullion. And today I have a special coin. It's been sent in by Martin the Silver Trader, so please be sure to check out the links down below under this video heading where you can find the link to, of course, the Silver Trader's website, the Precious Metal Forum, and my own website, Ace Bullion. Well, let's find out what this is all about. Here we go. So, as you can see from the above title, it is the Sword of Truth. Hmm, does that seem to ring a bell? Well, it should, and I'll explain why a little, just in a little bit. So, on the back here, we have a $2 denomination. Uh, as you can see, it has 2023, and it has the seal from the island of Nui, of the Republic of Nui there. So, hmm, it's a little bit on the the kind of matte side, but we're going to have a look over, read it edge, and before I do that, I'm going to tell you that this, of course, has been um, minted by the Sunshine Mint in collaboration with SD Bullion. Yep, there we go, a little fact figure. And there we have it, folks, the Sword of Truth. Now, there's actually a lot and a little to be seen. I know that's a contradiction, but it's true. So before, and I kind of, as I'm going to show this off and I'll zoom in a little bit so that you guys can see things, I'll, uh, I'll talk with it here. Um, you can see obviously the, um, the vines with the thorns. You've got um, the sword, the shield, one, um, Troy ounce, and then 999 fine silver. And then in Hebrew, we have right here uh, on the shield. And I'm not going to try to even pronounce or say, you know, anything in Hebrew, but it translates to Holy Spirit. So, yes, you got it right. It is a religious themed coin. And well, you know how I feel about it, but do you? See, this series initially started with SD Bullion back in 2018, uh, back when they released the Roaring Lion and also the Tree of Life. And those were fine. In fact, you know, I'm collecting them, you know, <laughs> don't have anything against it. In fact, I love them. I'm still, I'm missing one year on the Roaring Lion and I can't seem to find it for love of money, but I will. Um... And then in um, just uh, last year, 2022, uh, they introduced two new coins. Yep. Can you guess? One of them was the Ram Calvary. I featured that on my channel. And the second one was the 2022 version of this. Now, sadly, you know, myself and the Silver Trader both missed out on you know obtaining the first in the series and yeah so huge apologies ahead of time i would have loved to have featured it on my channel uh the only way that we could do this is to obviously backtrack and uh go from there but uh they do seem to have sold out but let me tell you before you have like a kind of a war or a panic attack it's actually the same exact design i couldn't find anything different on it Perhaps maybe the writing is you know, a little bit different, but um, as far as I'm concerned, everything looks identical. So if you are one to want to collect these and to have one at least added into your collection, this could sit there and no one would know any of the wiser, unless of course they spoke Hebrew. So with that being said, uh, the... 2022 version i do know had a mintage of 10,000. this is unknown um uh, but to put it in the you know perspective i think the tree of life had something you know ridiculous like 150,000. so that's how popular these things have grown and they tend to get more and more um you know produced over the years you know because well people seem to like these um now, as I said, I am not a religious person, and yet I'm collecting, you know, so far, I um, I know I'm collecting the Tree of Life and the Roaring Lion. 
um, of Judah, if you want to be, you know, go through the whole thing. Um, I may be collecting the, uh, the Ram Calvary. I don't know. I have to actually check in my vault. Um, and I was going to bring them out and drag them and show you guys, but realistically, I think this kind of speaks for itself in a lot of different ways because, you know, it is just a very nice little piece. There's nothing overly fancy about it. There's over, nothing really overly complicated. I would have actually have liked, I'm going to critique it a little bit here. I would have liked to have seen the thorns, and I do know what they represent, just for the record, even though I may not be religious. Um, I would have liked to see those into a gloss rather than them being matted because, yeah, I think they need to stand out. You could tell that they've tried with whatever these weird spacings are, and I can't determine what they are. Um, they're just kind of a weird pattern. Now, if you do know, if they are symbolic in any aspect, please let me know because I am actually curious to know if these mean anything because, you know, meaning these little square things here and then it kind of fades out here with, you know, the hole here, here again with the hole. You see what I mean? And it goes all the way around in a circle. Just because, I mean, if they would have done it in gloss uh, as they've done the sword and shield, I think that would have kind of just made that little bit on the edge really nice. That's the only critique I have for this. Um, the sword itself is simplistic and yet elegant. Um, it runs all the way through the very bottom of the coin itself. And as we take a look here, you know, the back, we've seen these a million times. This is the side you're going to be putting face down, leaving it alone. And that's that. So I'd like to ask everyone here who has collected the first in the series. Um, and if so, may I ask why? Um, just out of curiosity, who will be buying these? And again, why? You know, it may just be because of the design. I'm actually considering uh, buying this one only because, yeah, <laughs> I quite like it. I don't actually care for the fact that it may not, I may not have the very first one. And that's fine. I'll, I'll do some homework. I'll try to find one, but I don't think I will, I'll be able to, to be honest with you. And that's kind of where I sit. But this isn't a, a series where you have to have every single one like, you know, um, I don't know, Pokemon. You have to get them all. Sorry, <laughs> silly reference, but it's true. Anyway, with that being said, folks, Today's Monday. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Please like, share, and comment down below. Typical YouTuber attitude here saying that. Um, because I really do want to know what your thoughts and opinions are on this. And uh, anyway, I hope that your week is going much better than mine. So enjoy. I'll see you on Wednesday with uh, another video. Bye for now.